You are now listening to Hong Kong 2, the only podcast sanctioned by People's Republic of China, featuring Chris Lynch and Benjamin Taylor. We cool to hit this while we're in here? Oh, of course. Bro, are you That's a me? THC, Ben. This is my this is, sky blue. This is, this is my house, so you is can it, is do whatever a, you Is it pig pork? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a guy named Porky Pig. Uh, yeah. I gotta, true. I gotta get more. I need to start. I've been toning it back on the weed, but not by my own choice. It just so happens that I don't have the time to go out to the dispensary and whatnot. Yeah. You just need to find yourself a supplier. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, alternative. I, I kind of have been enjoying uh my, like how i've been feeling when i'm not smoking weed constantly cuz i was smoking weed like all day every day and i i haven't taken a tolerance break in years and this is technically my first tolerance break that i've taken in like mad long um sounds a little like me but weed is like <laughs> i think weed is the best shit in the whole world 100% man it's not chemically addictive it's not going to kill your liver as you're drinking or doing it and in all honesty if you want to hear something crazy they do make weed beers Really? Oh yeah, no, I believe it. They oh, do. Yeah, um, Se- Seattle's got uh, serendipity. Dude, they've got we. Everything is weed now, bro. You it's can insane. get like. Can we bring Chris up? Yep, yep. I'll bring Chris up. Yeah, thanks. It's the first one. Yep. Um. Yeah, I've had. I used to. I used to smoke a lot of weed back in the day. Uh, back in college. <laughs> I used to back back in college around 2013 is when like dabs started becoming kind of popular. Oh yeah, they became a lot easier to make too. Yes, yes. I actually used to make my own BHO back mm. in the day, which is a little dangerous. BHO, uh, yeah. BH, what's BHO, Chris? So BHO is mainly dabs made with like butane and stuff like that. Butane hash oil. Yeah, this right here is pure rosin. No, no uh, butane in it whatsoever. Uh, it really just don't... uses heat and pressure. People, people usually people don't consume BHO anymore, right? That's like kind of I mean, a thing of the past. It's a thing, but it's in a lot of dispensaries as just called shatter. Okay. Most of the time, you're seeing shatter made out of it, or you'll see uh, reclaim made out of it. Okay. A lot of your bigger companies, though, they got the money. They'll fork over the money to get the press. Gotcha. Yeah, rosin is like one hundred percent the best thing ever. Yeah, that's like pure. It doesn't use a solvent, so it doesn't use uh, like an extracting agent. It's just it's just. Ex- Separating the oils and THC from the weed. Yeah, they use a uh, heated press. You'll take and put okay. it into a little like sieve, like pot. Yeah. And then you'll put it in there. It'll scrunch and squeeze it all out. It looks beautiful. It's like pretty cool extraction. Yeah. Isn't butane the shit that you fill up lighters with? Yes. So why why would we be smoking butane? That's confusing so it's me. yeah it's a pretty dirty way to make uh, uh like dabs it's just uh it's just a chemical that it's a solvent it's a chemical like uh like rubbing alcohol it's like it 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 separates the uh the oils and stuff from weed or whatever and kind of it's like it's like paint thinner it's like rips it away type of thing but that's what it is paint thinner shit yeah yeah so but it gets you really high oh yeah it all gets you high but can i, I can i hit that chris right ahead. it takes a second yeah east inhale don't now get this too high on me, Ben. This is yeah, pure this is, rosin. This is pure rosin right here. Yeah. And where'd you get this from? Actually, one of my friends has a business that he runs that uh, oh. he makes cannabis products, and okay. I hit him up. I was like, "Yo, man, can I pick one of those up off you?" He's like, "Dude, I just toss you one." Hey, perfect. Hit me up one for the trip. He's like, "Yeah, man," because he knows he knows that. Um, like the whole reason I smoke, a lot of people think I just smoke for fun. Like I legitimately have a medical card back in Michigan for this oh, stuff. Oh, diabetic okay. neuropathy, not fun. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. What is that? Take what, care what's, yourselves. What's diabetic neuropathy? It's nerve damage that comes in typically through diabetes. Okay. Uh, just not taking care of yourself. So mm. instead of it being something they could give me a muscle relaxer for because it's the muscle pain, or if it's more of a physical pain, so they'll give you a, you know, things like oxy. Uh, for me, it's neuro- completely neuropathy, completely neurological. Okay. You have to, you have to affect the brain somehow to be able to lower the pain with it. So oh. for me, it's cannabis. Um, I don't like pharmaceuticals that much. Yeah, I, I support certain ones, right? Like diabetics need their insulin. Yeah, of if course. If you got high blood pressure, you should be taking some meds for that. Yep. But for pain management stuff, I can't see myself being put on it because of the fact that like. I it's watched addictive. my mother deteriorate for years. Uh, have you ever been methadone. prescribed oxy or, or like pills like no, that? No, but my doctor back in Michigan, uh, back when I was seeing them, the last time they saw me, they said, Christopher, your neuropathy's getting to a point where we can either put you on Oxycontin or whatever, uh, or 
You're just going to have to deal with it. And I looked at her and I said, put me on Oxycontin and we're going to have a problem. Yeah, that's bad news, I man. I said, I will, I will gladly smoke an ounce a day until I am coughing nugs out of my fucking lungs before I ever want to be given painkillers unless I'm in the hospital shot and dying. Yeah. No, that's a good move, uh, using cannabis as and you uh, punch her in the really. face. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, she's no, no, that doctor was a complete sweetheart. By the way, you know who you are if you're seeing this. <laughs> yep. Thank you for actually being one of the legitimate doctors out in Michigan, but like, yeah, I, 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 not, not to be a dick, I just would rather not get addicted to stuff chemically. No, that's that. You made a smart move with that. Uh, yeah, because, uh, yeah. Well, what's the what's the medical scene like in Michigan? Well, considering that I've moved out of there in recent times, I haven't seen much much of the stuff since the past like six months ish. Okay. But uh, when I was over there, I mean, it's it's pretty bad. Where are you living now? You know, I don't like to give out my exact area, no, but it's I'm okay. definitely. Is it? Uh, is it? The, it's not in Michigan, is it? Is no, it, I've, it, I've fully left. I'm okay saying this much because the trolls have already figured out the state I'm in right now, mm-hmm. just because I visit my friends so much. But I'm I'm out here in I'm out in New York. Uh, you know, I got a nice little spot in New York. But nice. I'm I saw you got that. You got like a little shed or what? Yeah. It's like a tiny house. But I visit my friend out in Maine sometimes too. It's fun, but oh, dude, yeah, some d- people have actually hit me up like, "Are you out here in New York? Was this you?" And I'm just like. Fuck yeah, Maybe. that was me. That was me. <laughs> Maine is in rough shape right now. It really is, oh, you know. Yeah, um, man. By the way, by the way, b- speaking of Maine, right? Because I just came back up from visiting my buddy. That's the whole reason it took us like six hours to get down here. Yeah. Um, the other night, if you guys don't know this, it's pretty hard not to because I covered it on the news a lot. But um, person by the name of, and then they have released the guy's name, the, the yep. suspect they got. His name was Robert, Robert Card, Card, which yep. is completely stupid. His name was Robert stupid. Card. His name was Robert. Like, you, have you seen Fight Club? No, I have. Uh, Actually, I have. No, never mind, I have. It's just been a minute. But no, nah, like, he went on a spree and, like, shot at, like, 60 people. Like, yeah, He's got, man. like, 20 of them. So, like, they're hunting for him. And, like, the whole state has, like, you see unmarked FBI SUVs. Some of them even almost look like the CIA Buicks. Yeah. Um, they've got a bunch of police out right now, and they've got FBI everywhere. Crazy, man. I'm surprised Crazy. they haven't apprehended him yet. That's I'm surprised, too. I thought no, that, that's the thing, right? Because they usually do it right away. You look at some of these, you know, you look at the school pewings, right? Oh, yeah. And they they immediately get the guy. Yep. You look at, you know, someone goes into a store. Oh, they immediately get the guy. Yep. But in this one situation, the worst, and this is, when you think about it, at least in the past 10 years, the worst U.S. shooting that has happened yet. You need a lighter? Uh, There's one. You can come right, right up here. Uh, It's right. I got you. Buddy. Buried between the. Make sure it works. I got you. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, also, for both of you guys, the, the bathroom is dr- like the first door in the hallway in case you use the bathroom. Right. Yeah, no problem. Um, okay, yeah, I'm sorry, you're talking about the school shootings? or Yeah, no, no. So, like, it just it baffles me that this guy, who is one of the most efficient shooters, has gotten away and is like, because they caught this. They, early on, they said there was two. And they said they had someone in custody. I could be wrong. Oh, I, haven't, okay. I haven't paid attention much past. Have they caught this Richard dude or Robert dude, whatever his name is? Yep. Um, so like my heart goes out to all the victims out there because that oh, is. Oh, yeah. No, seriously. That is that, to, to think that you go out there for a simple day of like some bullying oh, or something. Yeah. And then Horrific one dude stuff. has that one bad day and they yep. happen to actually be trained enough to make that bad day happen. Oh, yeah, man. I read, I read online that people are people are thinking it didn't even happen. And you know, you would think that, but like the other night, uh, after the shooting, like last night, uh, me and my buddies were sitting out on their porch, and we swear to God, we could hear gunshots like in the distance. Like the area I'm at is like, for, for especially for New York, it's really quiet. Like you could hear a cricket chirp out there. So like, we hear just in the distance, bah, 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 bah. Huh. and it's very clear, like a rifle and a couple of different pistol calibers. Uh. And we were like, did that happen? But we've seen no news of anything in my town like happening. So like uh, that could have been uh do, well if that's it's a rural, New York in its own. If it's a rural area, maybe there's a shooting range. That could, have, that could have been Robert Card doing target well, practice in not. the woods. I don't I don't know if he would have made it all the way out to where we were, but like it definitely was kind of scary. Um I'm glad that when I go home I go back to New York because like yeah. as as kind of incest as sounds, I I'm gonna be happy that I can semi rest a little bit when i get yeah home. Like yeah I've, seriously 
I, I just hope that they find this motherfucker soon and that there is some justice because that is oh oh wow and, and the crazy part is um you know these other shootings that have happened the the police if they catch the person on the premises of the shooting they'll just shoot they'll kill him or they'll like see him at the end of the road and they'll get him yeah and I don't know what is more justifiable for the victims if it's like just to kill him on site. Or if uh, they want to see him rot in prison or the death penalty. I don't know what the most redeeming thing is for families to f- at least, you know, feel like justice has been served. I don't know. Well, I, how about, how about, uh, let me ask you a question. If I were killed by a mass shooter, what would you want to happen to the guy? God forbid. You ever see Law Abiding Citizen? No. With, uh, with, uh, what is that British actor? Who's uh, Ben Kingsley? No, he's like a, he's like a Chad British actor. Oh, Tom Hardy? No, he's like a, um, who's that Chad British actor? Dude, there's a ton of Chad um, British actors. Any character specifically played that we would know? Uh, he was in a superhero movie. Uh, he was in a movie called Law Abiding Re- Citizen. Br- uh, hold on, I have to look this up. Hold on, if you'd seen Law Abiding, so he tortured. He, t- he so he witnesses a. He, there's a, not to spoil it, but there's a home invasion, and. Uh, the he he watches his wife and kid get like murdered, uh. and he gets revenge by torturing the murderer. Oh fuck! <laughs> That's really something. About. I know yeah. what you're talking about. So it would be uh, I would I would torture the murderer of Ben Taylor. That's. That's awesome. That'd be he, great. He inject he injected them with a uh, with uh, adrenaline, so they would they would they wouldn't pass out from the torture. Mm-hmm. Crazy shit. Damn. You'd oh. be breaking some Geneva codes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it was brutal. But again, it's a movie. I watched yeah. the movie the other day. It's called uh, the 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 Shadow and the Ghost. It it stars Val Kilmer and uh, Michael Michael. What the fuck is that? Oh, Michael Douglas? Who I hate, I hate Michael Douglas. But the whole premise of the movie is Val Kilmer is it takes place in late seventeenth century uh, Africa, and he's like a British contractor who builds bridges. Uh huh. And so his he's commissioned by his boss to go to Africa and build a bridge. And while he's building this bridge, his camp of African workers is assaulted and attacked and uh, stalked by two man-eating lions. Jeez. Oh, that's a real story. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, my bro. God. You know someone made a fan fiction about them going back in time because Hell didn't want those two lions? Really? Damn. Yes, y'all. I'll have to find it out and get a link to you because it is an interesting Damn. listen. But, like, they pick a fight with some raptors where it comes off as a, fuck you, this is new land for us. Yeah. That is such a good movie. The only the only thing I hate about it is that they cast Michael Douglas, who's like face, face just sucks. He's <laughs> horrible. Chris, do you have any uh, favorite movies? Mm, I got quite a few. See, I didn't grow up on most American content. Okay. Because I had a father who was really into Toho and a lot of the uh, monster films they had. Okay. So I grew up a lot on like Godzilla and things like that. If you're talking nostalgia, 1954 Godzilla. If my okay. mother were here right now, she'd confirm it. But uh, the two of them basically told me straight up, my first movie, period, was 1954 uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, the American cut of Gojira. Damn. And so, like, That's it's awesome. been a part of my life forever. Um, and so if we're talking nostalgia-wise, it'd have to be the Final Wars. It was always a good watch, my father. Very action-packed, very okay. quickly paced, very fun to watch. But uh, if we're talking non-like Toho, non-like Kaiju type stuff. I need to get a USB-C real quick. I'm sorry. I, I, found, I found one. That's interesting, though. I don't watch I don't, I don't don't watch any uh, yeah. anything Yeah, I've never seen American. Godzilla. i got to watch it. Yeah, but if I had to go with an American film, not plugged I, in. I'd have to go John Wick. It's not plugged in. Okay. Down four. Uh, John Wick. Okay, yes. John Wick's classic. Yes, yeah, and John the best Wick part is, is I love John him. Wick is pretty cool. Um, I generally, I think people kind of like suck Keanu Reeves' dick a little bit. Exce- use, the ki- ex- use the kitchen excessively. I don't think Keanu Reeves is all that. Oh, he's they, not. He's well, not they the wor- craziest. The, the thing is, but... is they worship Keanu Reeves because he's he takes the subway. He need, just acts like a normal person. And he's yeah. in the Matrix. This is what every celebrity should be doing to begin with, just being normal. And it's like hundred percent. I think it's more so that he's been in so many big budget films and like in a way he's left some sort of mark that a lot of people like suck him off for that. 
It's like how if people said, hey, if SpongeBob were real and he was sitting right in front of you and said, suck my nose off, buddy, you probably would because <laughs> you were a little kid at one point. You looked up that motherfucker like he was God. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, SpongeBob was real. He'd be getting laid. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? That 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 Spongy boy would have so much fun. Oh, yes. My would. friend's mom forbid him from watching SpongeBob because she was convinced it would cause autism. And Dude. so he was not allowed to watch SpongeBob growing up. That's not the case. <laughs> I think that's He probably accurate. has autism from not watching SpongeBob. Yeah. Sponge- <laughs> no. Dude, SpongeBob feels like the perfect show for any kid. Oh, yeah. It's all. It's, it's. Nah, the g- perfect show for any kid, Codename Kids Next Door. That show oh, was badass. That was a good one. That was a, ba- a, that was a badass show, that. actually. That's what made me want to be like a secret badass. I like Asian number two. Kid. Which one's that? You the like fat Kogi? one? Oh, no, not number two. I'm sorry. Uh, which, which one was the Australian was the, one? Which number one was five? the fat one? Sure, that was number four. Uh, okay. Number one was the bald. He was named Nigel Uno. Yeah. And Hoagie Gilligan. Number two is the fat kid. You had number three who was uh, Asian Kuki Sanban. Yep. Yep. She was Asian. Number four is uh, Wallaby Beetles. He is uh, the Australian. Australian put. Yep. And then number five is the girl of the group. Well, the second oh. girl of the group. Number five gonna need more of that candy now. I'm trying to do her voice. No, up. that's good. It's that's not good. the best, but it's getting there. I liked uh, Rocket Power. Do you guys remember Rocket Powers? Yeah. Rocket Power is good. Oh, another thing about Kids Next Door. Did you know that Abigail Lincoln, a.k.a. Number Five's father, was, guess what? Uh, fuck. Why did the name just leave my, my head? The voice actor's father? Uh, the famous father? black dude who was on, like, a family show. He was known as, like, American Steve, Grandpa. Steve, Steve Harvey? Harvey? He was, he was Bill arrested Cosby? and put in prison. Bill, Bill, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. <laughs> Bill Cosby was her father. Really? The voice actor? Yes, the voice, uh, for, for the voice five. actor for Abigail Lincoln's father is 100% him. Wow. Think Damn. about it. He goes, yep, everything with the pudding pockets and yeah. everything. He has, he has the whole voice and everything. I kid you not. Look it up. We're getting co- we're getting codenamed Kids Next Door lore right now. We are. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That's you know super they've cool. been trying to get a show greenlit called Galactic Kids Next Door. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. Are they, they in space or something? Nah. So they're trying to follow because at the end of the show, right? Nigel joins the fucking Super Core or whatever, and he's basically a forever K and D member, but has to leave his team behind. Uh, Have you ever seen it? So the idea would be he'd be coming back to an adult infested Earth. Oh. God, it was so weird. I've seen the idea a long time ago, and it's kind of That's interesting. A- they also want to bring back, uh, surprisingly enough, Ed at Nettie with a show called Peach Creek. Interesting. Oh, and where they're older? <clears throat> yes. Oh, I like By the that. way, did you realize that in Ed and Nettie, they were in high school? Uh, really? Peach Creek High is where they went. Oh. They, now think about that. Jimmy, Sarah, Johnny. Yes. You're going to tell me those three are in fucking high school? May, maybe Jimmy, at best. Jimmy, who has a stuffed animal collection? They have to be freshmen at the bare if that minimum. Freshmen or I'm... I'm I, I thought they were middle I school. I special ed motherfuckers, so you guys can't even hate me for this. Or they were just special ed as shit because like... Could have been, yeah. You look at how Jimmy and Johnny... like Sarah, okay, Rolf? I can see her Rolf as being see, immature. Rolf looked like he was probably 29. Uh, you know, I think in reality, I think he was supposed to be closer to like uh, Kevin's age, maybe a little older. Oh yeah, yeah. Like if, like if, like if I were to age them, I, I, I know they have an official age, but I don't remember the official age parts. Like, if I were to age guess them, like I would say Rolf's like maybe fourteen, Six, fifteen. Yes, yeah, fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some like a tall fifteen year old. Kevin comes off as like thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. Uh, like Eddie comes off as like thirteen. Double D comes off as like. 15. A smart, like, yeah, smart, like, 15 year old. And Eddie, uh, Ed, big boy, comes off like 14, but like mentally disabled. Yeah, 14. What's, the, what's, yeah. The, what's the kid's name with the headgear who has the braces? Oh, headgear. Is that Johnny? Braces. What's That's that kid's the, name? Oh, you're talking about. The you're one talking about Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy. Yeah, 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 Jimmy. If, if, Chris was Jimmy. A, if Chris was an Ed and Eddie character, he'd be Jimmy and I'd be nope. Plank. Yes. I would not. You'd. Oh, oh, oh. You think I'm Jimmy? Yes. Nah, you no, nah, not Johnny. Wait, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta say something here. There's two Chris's sitting here on the couch. There's two yeah. Chris's. And by the way, I don't know if I, we give a proper introduction. Yeah, but yeah. This why is don't we, Chris. Let's talk about. The, yeah, this we is, didn't this even is, introduce. Yeah, this is Chris, <laughs> aka Airsoft Fatty. We should probably start recording now. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> we've not we've been, been re- recording at all. No, no, we've been recording. We've been recording. <laughs> but yeah, uh, anyways, I well, I should have given a proper indu- introduction. But this is Chris, aka Airsoft Fatty. You've seen him on Fish Tank. You've seen him on YouTube. You've seen him in videos, viral. He's a known agent. He's a known player in the game. Mm-hmm. And um, an OG. 
and this is actually a happy surprise. We weren't even planning this. You might as well thank you for thank you for doing oh, this. Oh heck yeah, no. We were just like over just chilling at the building and I was like, Yeah. And you were like, heck, they want to come up. I'm like, hell yeah, honey. Yeah, because we were gonna record this tonight anyways, and I was like, you know what? This Let's is a do it. opportunity. Let's it. Might as well yeah. have some fun, kill some time. Yeah. because uh, otherwise it's just like me and my buddy are just gonna be like crashing at a hotel then for the rest yeah. of the night because we're waiting for tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna do some filming. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's gonna uh, be a lot of fun. Oh, you're yeah. gonna be a fast car. Mm, I'm oh, excited. Oh, are you, are you, speed. Are you into going fast on the road? Or? Oh, I am. Okay, perfect. As long as the guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> oh, Sam knows oh, what he's yeah. doing. He's, he's, he knows what he's doing. He knows he what he's does. doing. He does. No, I'm, I'm more personally, I'm more of a motorcycle guy. I love getting thrown on those bad uh, boys. I you ride there. motorcycles? Not not anymore, but I used to all the time. I want to like, get another one Like street one bikes or dirt bikes? Uh, more like dirt bikes. Uh, uh, fuck, names keep escaping me right now, man. Is this enduro in, bikes, stuff like that. Is, oh, yeah, Enduros are the shit. Was oh, this in Battle God. Creek? Way back in the day, yeah. I used to have a uh, Kawasaki KLT 200. Oh, that's super I've that's had super a fly. Uh, Baja Warrior that I did an engine swap on, so instead of being a stock 200, it was a 420cc engine. Oh, okay, very that, cool. That boy got up to like 60. Uh, I've had Badass. racing lawnmowers, a racing golf cart that blew up underneath my ass <laughs> oh shit are there like fire trails out there i would assume so uh there's not a lot of trails in battle creek specifically you kind of have to just go on the back roads and have some fun uh, i see i see yeah or you got to have the property yourself right 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 do, do, uh, do you know uh, about the history of the name battle creek actually i do not um i know I, that kellogg's uh was a big name out there but like he is not a good guy the cereal company Oh. The, 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 your, all your cereal comes out from Battle Creek, Michigan. Oh, wow. Post and Kellogg's are based out there. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. And then um, you'd be surprised. So Kellogg's, the guy who created Kellogg's cereal, obviously, yep. was like a major piece of shit. Like, oh, I bet. He was racist and like homophobic as hell. He made cornflakes. You know why cornflakes are bland as shit? Why? Was, uh... He thought that making a tasteless cereal would kill men's sex drive and thus bring down the gayness of the community. Really? That's not a joke. He thought if he gave men bland cereals, they would not have high, as high of a sex drive. Really? So there wouldn't be as much homosexuality in town. Whoa. It was ridiculous. And you people don't think that. They don't want to think that because they love the fucking cereal. But like, yeah. look into it. It's, it's knowledge. It's crazy. It's online. He, the, probably, he probably was gay himself. Honestly, I could I could see that theory working out like a gay guy just eats bland cereal for three years and then he, he's, and he's like, like, you know what? I'm not gay anymore. More. It doesn't. It doesn't, hap- doesn't feel it. It doesn't happen overnight, but over the course of three years, it slowly degays you just eating yeah, corn flakes. I know when I eat a bowl of Frosted Flakes, I want to <laughs> fuck right after. I want to fuck guys when I eat Frosted <laughs> Flakes. I need some Fruit Loops, let's put it like that. Yeah, fruit. What's your favorite cereal? Surprisingly enough, s'mores. S'mores. S'more, that's a. Oh, that's yeah. A, oh, it's that's hard a, to find these days. You got to order it off Amazon. It's like ten fucking bucks. S'mores. A box. Is, s'mores is. It has. A, I think it has like you know a cereal. It's by Kellogg's. Cho- cho- yeah. Chocolate and marshmallows. It's chocolate graham cereal with okay. marshmallows, chocolate cocoa powder inside the marshmallows. Oh. Okay. And it is the bomb. Damn. You get some good chocolate milk for your milk base, and it is the die for I I can't order it. Number one, it's it's hard to find these days. You got to spend like yeah. ten bucks to get a box of it that's fresh. Oh damn. Number two, I, 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 me having that, I just can't. I yeah. let myself have it once a year because I will literally eat the whole fucking box in one second. Yeah, it's it's a once in a while kind of thing. Yeah, you can't let yourself have that too much because it is like a drug. Now, how is a s'more? What is it? Is it a just like a ball or some shit? I've never heard of. I've never heard of the cereal. cereal. It's just. It's just. Imagine if you try to make s'mores into a cereal. It's just it's you know, marshmallows, like made, chocolate. So the hard bits are like literally miniature trackers, right? And then the marshmallows are literally just tiny Did like you hot call cocoa them marshmallows. How do you say crackers? Crackers. I thought you said I thought you said Cratchers. I must have misheard you. Cratchers. That's fine. Cratch- that sounds like another name for a child. <laughs> Cratchers. Oh, Look at those Cratchers. Cratchers yeah. over there. <laughs> Creatures. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I actually uh, don't like s'mores, believe it or not. Really? Really? Something about something like about the, it. The, the graham crackers with melted yeah, marshmallow. Yeah, it's a little. It's like I don't know. I'm. All, but if I you have my campfire, so you can't you, beat uh, it. Have you ever swapped your chocolate out for caramel? I don't Ooh. like caramel, believe it or not. So, what? so Ben, Ben, uh, I like ketchup and chicken nuggets. Ben is a Ben is a picky eater. You know, I'm that kind of way too. But like, I, don't I think, have a bit bigger of a palate now. I think that Ben is probably much I'm very more picky. picky. I like cheeseburgers and I like chicken nuggets. I like Big Macs. Big Macs are like 
Oh, I go crazy. My God. Over That's pretty much Big it. Mac. Chicken tenders. Yeah. He needs like a good homemade spaghetti made for him or something. I mean, spaghetti He'll is well. Spaghetti. It's it's well and good. It's it's uh, that's fine and all as long as we're not venturing too far out of the realm of reality when it comes to <laughs> what we eat. If there was a flame mignon with like a garlic mashed potatoes, and then there was a hamburger, he would eat the hamburger. I'd eat the hamburger. Are you serious? And I would make sure it had a lot of ketchup on it as well. Yes. Yeah. So Ben he was Ben was touched ketchup. as. A, Ben was touched as a child, uh, and now he... By the ketchup, man. <laughs> yeah. can, you, can, you, um, can, can you drink just straight ketchup, or is that a skill no, you have not God, unlocked no. yet? Oh, I would never. I maybe can. Never. I mean, I, I could. small shots. You know, sometimes if I'm making myself food, I'll get I'll use condiments, right? So I'll, I'll have, like, ketchup and mustard. I'll get all these condiments on my fingers while I'm, like, you know, assembling my burger, and I don't wash them off. I will... I, I You know, I wouldn't drink it straight out of the... You'll lick a finger or two. I'll lick a finger, bro. If it has a condiment on it, you know what I don't like? I had a we got wings at the office earlier, and the wings that we got had a what was that? Is like sweet. That was, was like, like a sweet, sweet chili, chili sauce. That was teriyaki. horrible. That was terrible. Yeah, I hate Asian. What's sauces. your What's your wing sauce of choice? Like bone bone and <sighs> wings. It's got to be between sweet teriyaki barbecue, mm-hmm. or I'm going all in naked. Naked? Naked? Huh? Will you dip it in ranch or anything? Nope, just naked wing. People are going to call me a Satanist for this, but uh, I don't eat McDonald's chicken nuggies with any sauce. Really? Yeah, Not you're, mo- a, you're a monster, bit. bro. You're a fucking monster. How so many you? people are like, why don't you eat sauce to me? The That's McDonald's unbelievable. I can't believe sweet. that. They're too sweet. What is yeah. it? What, you just like, I mean, it does, I'll give I'll give you this. It is nice and crunchy, and it's, it'd be a criminal to dilute the crunchiness of a chicken Thank nugget you. with sauce. Okay, you this guys, is a, you guys are gonna get along. This is a science, Chris. This is a science. Well, me, oh, I'm, I'm. A, you guys are thinking I'm a freak. I, I dip my friend. Uh, oh, a good mayonnaise, French Five Guys fries with the mayo. Oh, I believe it, bro. I don't oh think that, I don't my think you're goodness a freak. gracious! I don't think you're a freak at all. That sounds it's like perfectly heroin. reasonable. That it's sounds her- totally reasonable. Her- yeah. but, five Guys is amazing. Five Guys. The fries, oh, dude! Bro, I will... when we were doing fish tank, we would get we would get five guys like every every like three or four days. We'd get five guys. Oh, That's God. excellent. It was like we were we were eating like shit. Did you get free reign with uh, any of that? Like while you were while you were in the tank, in terms of uh, like food stuff, or were they some? Torturing. Whatever was on the show, I oh, okay. I wasn't able to treat myself. Uh, yeah, now nah, Fatty got treated nah. like everyone else. He, oh, okay. he, he had to eat yeah, all the shit. That, if I was there, yeah, I would have been. I would have been like, "Oh, Fatty, come here, I'm ordering DoorDash." Yeah, but lot. I mean, you're because I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm. The too, issue is we could never let you upstairs because all the contestants would immediately be like, "Is that Chris Lynch? Is that Chris Lynch?" Yeah, and they'd yeah. be like, "Chris, oh, give the the DVD player." Our cover would be blown. Yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. I'm too. I can't. I can't. Tor- I can't. Well, I'm not gonna call it torture, but I can't mess with people in that capacity you can't can't engage in psychological warfare yes because when i have people over my house i'm like what can i get you do you want a beer do you want some food these aren't people like these aren't people (laughs) these aren't people (laughs) yeah Yeah, joking i'm joking i'm just gotta have fun with psychological warfare you got treated a little bit i remember i had to run around town trying to find you a cbd vape at one point because uh you were you requested a cbd vape and then i i i was tasked with going out and getting it and I, I'm not even fucking with you. I spent probably three or four hours driving around. Are you serious, dude? Nobody sells CBD vapes. Nobody. Uh, can I, can I say something real quick? That's gonna sound really fucked up, but what? I'm going to quote Patrick Starr on this one. Uh-huh. We have the technology. <laughs> you had a cell phone, man. Yeah, you should have called have places. You could have up the number and called them and like, hey, you guys, you wasted so much time, yeah, that brother. That is true. That's a good point. Yeah, but that, you I, know what? I bet that you wanted to get out for a little bit anyway. I did, yeah. I didn't yeah. mind. I, I was, I was, it was kind of a welcome reprieve from the hectic, the hectic life. The hectic show. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. You were... You guys, you, oh my God! Let's let's put it like this: the guys from downstairs, uh, they were going through the same kind of hell. Oh way, yeah, man. Bro. You well, guys, we were, we were guys are, let's just put this out like this: congratulations on making internet history. Yes, let congratulations, me tell you, bro! We did it together. Oh, we all yeah. we all did it together, buddy. Oh hell yeah! I need another one of them. Bro. I got Bro's you. I'll grab one. Uh, yeah, I I I uh, it's so funny editing the episodic series i'm having to it's almost like reliving it all over again for eight hours and now, uh it's it's I, it's only because i have to sift through footage for like yeah. 
you know, it's a blast it's, from it's the sourcing past. And sh- it's just a lot of sort. And so I have to rewatch these very mundane. Oh, mo- oh, I don't know why I'm handing it to you. If you're listening to this, mixing the Chris's up. If you're listening to this, Chris asked for a beer and I handed it to the wrong Chris. <laughs> um, but yeah, what was I say? Oh yeah. So I'm, I'm like having to relive not, the trauma but uh these moments and sometimes i'll be editing and i'll look at these sequences and just think this is so unbearable i can't even believe that this happened it's just yeah, the you most, guys went through the ringer it's the most uncomfortable shit ever and i don't want to like we should pro- i i don't know if people like would get annoyed at us talking about fish tank but um speak your truth that dude the scene with Daniel Lee like getting kicked out when he throws all of Letty's shit in the porta potty was so, I had to watch that a hundred times while I was editing it and it's just so fucking brutal yeah it's well, just so brutal it's it's capturing all the moments now I'm curious uh what was um when you got contacted to do fish tank um who was it was it Sam so believe it or not one of my friends actually like Loki was talking to Sam for a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, he had done some events with him in the past, yep. and he knew Sam was looking for someone. Yep. And so he suggested me to Sam, and Sam was like, "Well, get him out here, and like, we'll have him on the show." Yeah. And so my buddy was like, "Yo, Chris, I know you're going through a bit of a situation right now where you're about to be on the streets. You want to come out here? You know, as long as you can last on there, you'll have free room and board, and you can make some cash and maybe get yourself off the road." I was like. Well, fuck it. Why not? I mean, I'll go on here, make, you know, one, two grand, do this, have some fun. Didn't expect, you know, for them to start a GoFundMe and, and uh, quite honestly do one of the things that I'm the most thankful for, which is being a homeowner at 26. Yeah, that's great, that's awesome, man. It's that's not great. even just that. It's the fact that I can relate to my mother now on a deeper level because I had a hand in building my home. Uh. She built that house. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, that house on Mingus that I had. Yeah, that was a home that was built by my mother and grandfather. Oh wow! Jeez, Louise. Yeah, That's she was awesome. like twelve years old when she did that. Wow, what year? That must she must have been like that would have been nineteen seventy three ish. I want to say. Oh jeez, yeah, yeah, times were different, bro. That's when I was hundred percent different. That's when the, that's when twelve year old girls were building homes. That's <laughs> yeah, insane. man. That's back when the whole family partook in building the house. Oh, there's no more family now, man. Oh, bro. No, nope, now it's just call the construction company. We'll put it up. It's yep. bad. I, I was, missed I, that. They did a Tinder stream today, and I was just oh, like, "Yeah, we did." I was, <laughs> I was, I was kind of like stalking in the back a little bit, just checking out what you guys were doing, and it's so unbelievable how, how fucked. I mean, not not to generalize, how but just these like, girls are, dude. If you try to get a girl off Tinder to help you build a house, like, good what? fucking good luck, luck what? bro. Yeah, good luck. Just, just I mean, have it changing built. a tire, even. Oh, dude, fucking having a good conversation. Fucking like the lady that he swiped on with the Porsche, right? Oh, uh, that's not my daily driver. A.K. That's my father's car. I borrow it sometimes and I take photos with it. Right. Oh, my yeah. daily driver's a Beetle. <laughs> Probably some shit like that. You've been, uh, uh, because I know you like to cook. What uh, you you've been cooking anything interesting or anything noteworthy? Not exactly. I've been like really like slowed down and cooked because I am trying to lose some weight. Yeah. Um, same. <laughs> Starting myself on a diet. I actually broke it today and had a Reese's cup, but like Nah, well you're in you're, you're yeah. it's a little bit of a celebration. But I'm 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 getting myself to a point where I want to start fasting every other day and I want to completely cut sweets out of my diet. Mm. That's a good that's a good first step. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's good. No, I I had done it before. Like yeah. before uh twenty twenty two when I let myself have a soda and then I kind of fell back into it. Yep. Uh, I had completely cut soda out. I had completely cut any sugar out good. that wasn't from just good food. Yep. And that went on from 2019 till end of 2021, <laughs> where I just said I had myself a soda and yep. broke that. Yep. But yeah, it was all meats. It was a, a, a carnivore diet. Can't go wrong with that. <sighs> oh, no, you really can't, man. I was, to be honest, like I was going through some rough times, but that was the best time of my life when it comes to health and diet wise. Yeah, you, the carnivore I've seen uh, help a lot of people. Um, it like clears up acne and does all sorts of things. It's insane. But another thing I found through like re researching and re getting into it, yeah, and it's something that I didn't see before is make sure that you're consulting with a professional because oh yeah, some people's bodies are built to metabolize different types of diets. It's true for me and a lot of men and uh, even a lot of women. A carnivore diet is what our body mainly can digest. 
Yes. And yes. Again, I'm no expert. Don't take this as if I'm an expert. I am no doctor. I am no scientist. I am no professor. I am just a fat dude who's trying to lose weight and just sharing some knowledge I've learned online. Yeah, I um yeah, I can I'm advocate very blessed the same in the sense that I have like you have a fat even metabolism my metabolism of a, of my metabolism moves at the speed of light. Yeah, you no, have the metabolism of a of a ha- hamster fetus. It's so funny <laughs> if I eat if I eat McDonald's, I actually come out of it lighter, which is mm. which is like it's, and then you'll throw up. What's the what's the movie? Uh, <laughs> Stephen King Thinner. I think Not somebody clear. put a curse on me. Um, yeah, oh, there's God. a movie. There's a movie called uh, I forget. I think it's called Thinner, and it's about uh a witch who puts a curse on this guy, and uh. His curse is that he will uh, terminally lose weight until he's like really, really bone thin and sickly. Maybe somebody should put a thinner curse on you. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll turn to what's that, Eugenia Cooney? Or oh, oh God, God, bro! Yo, it's so Shots fucked up. They, her. they put on. Um, <laughs> we were at my crib and they put on. I forget who it was. Somebody put on Eugenia Cooney videos, and Ew. I was just looking at her. Is it Jet? No, it was um f- our friends from out of town. Oh, and uh, <laughs> I can't, I this, can't watch it. It's, dude, it's, it's so ugh. brutal. I feel like if she fell over, she'd die. I mean, she's especially on concrete. It's, oh, it's bro, sad to be... say it like that, but it's true. The bones would break. Yeah, and they were just making jokes. Um, don't we're worry. Not, yeah, we're not trying to be dicks or anything, but like that. Yeah, she's like fucking eat something for the love of God. I, it was take her to Old Country Buffet. Oh yeah, we don't, yeah, bro. We don't got those around here. Oh, dude, oh, get her ass to Michigan. Old Country Buffet. I think it's a it's a dying uh, chain. I don't, I don't it's think 100% it's one hundred percent dying, especially after COVID, my man. Dude, oh, Old yeah. Country Buffet is so fucking terrible, but it's so filling. Now, it's so good. When I've been to the Midwest once or twice. I went to uh, Saint Cloud, Minnesota. And when I was there, we went to this place called Mongo's, and it was a Mon- it was a Mongolian grill. And I don't know if you've been to a place like this in the Midwest, but I went there when I was in you know in Mich- in Minnesota at least. And it's um you go it's like a buffet it's kind of buffet style. You go and you get a plate and a big bowl, and you put a bunch of frozen meat in it. Yeah. And you put vegetables and other toppings that you want, and then you hand it to a guy who's on a big like three sixty hibachi flat top grill yeah and he cuts it up and he does like a stir fry and he gives it back to you have you been to a place like that before no nah. it was good as shit I mean, sounds there's... like it sounds like they're just giving you a bunch of shit and you're loving it um you, that's one way to phrase it <laughs> hey fat dudes don't complain i'm, lo- I'm loving it <laughs> we're you're having it our way yeah you're an asshole Look, that's different, Chris. That's fucking... I'm an asshole. You just said that sounds like a bunch of shit, and you're just <laughs> loving it. Fuck, bro. Man. What can I say? Look, me personally, if... If I look at chicken nuggets and tenders, it would I don't be call, great. I, look, my cousins and I... I learned this from fuck, my... Fuck them. No, no, no. Just my, kidding, Ben's cousins. My cousins are great. Um, I'm sure they're wonderful. They uh, they, call, they call they call McDonald's Max Lounge. Max, that's cool. It sounds It sounds a little nicer and more upscale than... Uh, McDonald's. You know, there's only one other name that can make McDonald's sound more McDonald's. What's that? That's what the Australians call it. Maccas. Maccas. Bro. Maccas. Maccas. You want to go to Maccas? That I, just sounds like that sounds cheaper than McDonald's. I like Mac- uh, yeah. Maccas is a solid name you for know, McDonald's, bro. I had the pleasure of having Australian McDonald's when I went. Oh yeah. Was any good? For, it was low key, not as good as here. The fries are more bland. It's mm. because they don't. Have all those? There's a bunch Oils of ingredients that we use. Yeah, yeah. yeah they have banned ingredients. So the French fries were like, eh, they're they're McDonald's fries, but they just like they don't hit the bland. same. Yeah, and one thing I did have because whenever I have the privilege of going to a different country and trying McDonald's in a foreign country, I try to get something I can't get here. You know, like a a burger that's exclusive to right, right, right. Australia. All and right. one of them was. They had an Australian, uh, it was like an Australian quarter pounder or something like that. Yeah. And it had, I believe it had an egg and it had a, uh, a slice of beet on it. What the fuck? So it, it was like a quarter pounder with a beet, a, a, you know, you know the red vegetable beet uh-huh. and uh, uh, some sauce and an, a fried egg. Guess where I'm never weirdest. going. Guess where I'm never going. <laughs> Australia. 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 And... To go on top of this, I went to Japan this year, and I had a, I think it was called a mixed samurai, 
and it was an it was like a quarter pounder that was dipped in teriyaki sauce, and that was pretty good. With the whole sandwich just dipped in teriyaki just sauce? The, just the patty. Okay, I was about to say, if they put the whole fucking sandwich uh, in there, that bread's going to get soggy. Yeah, 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 no, that'd be messy. But I do love the foreign McDonald's. I had the privilege of going to a different country trying it. I think the shittier the McDonald's, the better, to be honest oh, with you. Oh, the McDonald's in the hood? Bro, yes, hood McDo- yes. you ever had a hood McDonald's meal? Get the fuck out of it. You could tell the that- The part I don't like is- uh, The part I don't <laughs> like about going it, to the hood McDonald's it. is uh, the service and how I, <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'll, I'll get it. They're like, all right, pull around the front. It, I hate when they make me pull around- when the drive through, oh, you know when yeah, they make yeah, you pull yeah. around because yeah. it's taking too long. Yeah. I hate that. And then I'm looking out the window. Yeah. Didn't even get my sauce. Nah, I know, bro. Fries are fucking cold. You gotta so give me some. The hood of McDonald's you at least is not gotta good. give me some ketchup to drink while I wait for my meal. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Seriously. And don't even get me started about how McDonald's now does not have the paper cups. It is now the plastic cups. Remember the the, the old yeah the old <gasps> white cups. Bro, they don't yeah, even give you straws paper anymore. Cups. They don't give you what? Yeah, they don't even give you straws. Uh, yeah. Some some states around here did mm-hmm. a mandate where you can only get a straw if you ask for it. Isn't that insane? In order to lower plastic in, waste. Yeah. Oh my god, right that's okay. Get this, my buddy out in Maine. Mm-hmm. They are trying to ban plastic bags, and most cities Here too. have already implemented a yep. ban on them. Paper bags. Get the fuck out. Yep. No. Go to Dave's. You order, you order Walmart from his place, and you go to pick it up. You got to bring your own bags. Otherwise, they just put your shit in your car. Yep. Dude, what kind of the? What and kind I get of world it. I get it. In? They're trying to save the turtles, whatever. But come on. You know what? It's so funny that you bring that up because I've just remembered that that's been that's actually been a thing in California. That's oh, yeah, that's a bad thing. thing. Right California, you live in the Stone Age. Dude, California is like five years ahead in terms of tyrannical laws that will be oh, passed. Yeah. Dude, when I was there, like around five years ago, they required you to use those fucking paper straws. Paper and straws. Two minutes, they fall apart. Whoever invented paper I'd rather straws shoot up should AIDS into my dick. Yeah, and literally. Fucking, I would use a paper straw. I know, I'd rather put AIDS in a syringe and shoot it in, in my, my dick, dick hole in front of like my family. Fuck paper straws. Yeah, let me let me let me have a paper straw, and then two after two sips, the straw is like fucking falling apart. Yeah, I'd rather yeah. have a fucking pit bull like like maul my child, maul, maul my child in front of me while I'm, <laughs> yeah, while I'm handcuffed. Yeah, and while, while I'm handcuffed, <laughs> then rather than use a paper straw, I'd rather um, I'd rather press a button that would uh, I would rather build, I would rather have my parents on a on a. Uh, uh, a, de- a deserted island, yeah. and hit a button that shoots a nuke to the right island on their heads, <laughs> on their heads <laughs> then and then uh, and then watch the watch the footage in slow motion as they evaporate. Then use a paper straw ever. <laughs> yeah, bro, we're team plastic. Yeah, you we're know, team plastic. Uh, here's Laker. Laker Brady right here, uh, the roommate. But yeah, fucking. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sure Laker would comment about the fucking paper straw. He fucking hates it. I have a question for you, Chris. What is your what do you what do you think is like your crowning achievement uh in terms of uh your your internet career? Jeez, that's hard. That's really hard to pinpoint because I've had so many like that's the crazy part of my career, right? I've had moments where I've died down and moments where I've shot up in popularity and died down yeah, again. Yeah, I'll give it to you. So it's hard for me to one hundred percent pinpoint. But if I gotta say just after fish tank coming off and having that realization that yes you need to continue doing this people want to support you enough to a point where they're literally helping you own a home not even just get you an apartment but own a home so we ain't got to worry about that stuff you need to keep doing this and it's one of those like you've made it you own a home now you ain't got to worry about bullshit it's just about making content gold yeah, that's good. And then from there, like, like fish tank, in all honesty, has inspired the hell out of me. That's awesome. Bro. Between the weight loss and like just recently, I started seeing a therapist, so they're getting the mental health that I've been needing for a while. And then, hell like, yeah, bro, that's great. And then, like the home and everything is just. If I had to pinpoint the one singular crowding moment, it would be just after fish tank, that realization of you've made it. Now act like it, motherfucker. Right. Because right. I haven't been acting. I've I've been here for a while. I've been right here in the spot for years. But I've been too inactive with it, not acting it. And now 
here I am. I'm going to start wearing nice clothes. I'm going to start pimping that house out. Yeah. I'm going to get myself a nice car eventually. My end goal car wise by the next two years is to get a Ford Escort RS 2000. Nice. Whoa. I don't even know. What is that? Is that like a sedan? It's a 1997 rally car. Oh, shit. And if you think about those older rally box box uh, box body rally cars, uh, think about the uh, the green and red oil company's Big livery. Body. That. Oh, dude, that's badass. That's it super is. badass. And they still use like the Ford Escort, and then uh, I think they might have been more modern versions called Ford Focus. Back mm-hmm. they call it back in the day they called it an Escort. So, like, you still see those get used today, even. That's the kind of shit that you race in uh, games. Yes. That's a good word, livery. What does that even mean? What is a livery? It just means the paint scheme. The paint scheme. You hear it more used in uh, trains and stuff like that. Right. If a company has a line of trades, they're all having the same paint, that would be the company's livery. Interesting. Uh, NASCAR cars have a livery. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, usually colorway. it's a usually colorway. it signifies right. a team or where you work or what's going on. Gotcha. Gotcha, okay. gotcha, gotcha. That's cool, bro. Yeah. That's awesome. I didn't know Fish Tank made you feel that way. That's really. Uh, oh no, it was it was a real inspiring moment. It's really funny how, uh, not to like get back on the topic of it, but it's like so, like every everything is different and people's lives are di- especially the contestants' lives are just like yeah. so much different now. Um, it's, Honestly, I it's, think it's, a lot of really... us needed that separation from the internet. Oh, dude. I mean, we were attached like a fucking baby to a yoga core, <clears throat> right, but like, right. we weren't directly there, and it was nice. You were still on the internet, but you just weren't allowed to use it. You were you were yeah. being broadcast. Um, I know it's 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 kind of a. I still I still Did they take your like, phone away. Oh yes. yeah, bro. Oh, of course. I I told, I told my buddy make sure they treat me just like everyone else. I wanted the challenge. Well. Uh, you can go without yeah. a phone, but you can't go without a CBD vape or a black stripper, for that matter. I, uh, you know what? Was she a stripper or a prostitute? Prostitute. Oh, uh, uh, prostitute. Yeah. Yeah, she was an actual hooker. And you, you broke the internet when you, uh, when you went nude. That Dude, was pretty now, funny. Do you know what's crazy? So there's a side alternative to that moment, and you guys might actually find a little more pride in it as well. My old manager, who a lot of people know as Josh, the asshole, the gremlin, mm-hmm. uh, he actually has, a, I'm pretty sure he still has it, uh, a nude that he stole from breaking into my old Facebook account and deleting it. It's the only nude I've ever taken. A nude of yours? Yes. Oh, great. Like oh, a, yeah. W- w- was the nude like um, something that you had private that got leaked sort of thing? It was in a private message to a girl I was dating online at the time. Oh, what's so, the like, fuck? He, he hacked my Facebook at the time. I've got a new one now, but like none of those old photos are there anymore. Yeah. Like he hacked my old Facebook, took a screenshot of that photo, deleted the Facebook, and then said straight, like would blackmail me with it for oh, years. Oh, dude, that's, telling that's me grounds he for uh, legal action. Oh, yeah. You know, it is, but I'm at a point now that I've got a nude before he could do it before him. I That's the whole thing, right? In that moment, I got to do that before him. To me, that's I a big you. fuck you. Yeah, yeah. And to, to be honest, like the gremlin's been facing the music already enough and honestly yeah, i'm moving on it's been years on. yeah yeah mic out of my hands I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah no it's, it's a very fucked up situation from that but to have that moment where i was like wait i can go naked like oh, i can oh, say yeah. fuck you, you want. oh are you and kidding i was me? the first person to go nude on the show so it was like <laughs> it was like fuck yeah this is a big fuck you to this it's guy like freeing. my dick's out here of my own accord and you it's know what? it's so funny too because when you went nude it's it's so funny you're your your like fat hangs over your cock, so we don't even have to blur it. <laughs> we don't even. Have, it saves us so much time and no ever. Well, it's great. No, I, I'm not afraid to admit it. I do have a bit of a small piece right now, but my doctors all my past have said if you lose the weight, it will be bigger. Yeah, bro. But um. Well, it's yeah, like it's, if it's you, not easy if you to put see a, unless if it's you hard. put a fucking apple in front of the Empire State Building, the apple is gonna look small. Or I guess True. a better metaphor would be like a, a fucking bratwurst. Put a bratwurst in front of the Empire State Building, it's gonna look. It's going to look small, you know what True. I mean? But yeah, nah, bro. 100%. No, I, I'm not afraid to say it. I'm afraid to be happy. I'm, I'm happy to say it. Yeah, I mean, I have that pipe game, but you know what? I got that mouth that do things. I got to say, bro, I've never, like, it's so funny. I used to, you know what's crazy? When I was younger, I think I said this on another pod, but I, I can't, I try to gain weight, and I just cannot seem to do it. I cannot gain weight at all. Really? I think I'm terminally, like, 140. Yeah, it's so funny. There's a thing. They have this thing. It's called GoMad. Have you ever heard of that? No. It stands for a gallon of milk a day. 
Oh God! Yeah, and, no. and the and the premise. Okay, so the premise of GoMad is you're you're a skinny freak. guy. You want to gain weight fast. You want to be a freak. You want to be a freak. So you start drinking. Are whole, we at a? Um, we got ten minutes left okay. for, for the free episode. Um, but the premise is you drink. You just drink yourself full of whole milk constantly. And, uh, That's not how you do it. Yeah, no. Nah, yeah, I, I, I did it for a week, and I ended up puking up all the weight that I had put on. It was, it was embarrassing. Yeah. If you want a good suggestion, starches, sugars, Pasta. and limit your movement daily if you really want to put on the weight, especially starches, mashed potatoes, french fries, and take in a little bit more than you would usually. Yeah, you kind of got to eat past... The pain. You're full. You gotta pass. You gotta eat past the pain, basically. I'm but, just like I'm so I can't like. Uh, that's one, just like that's torture. Why would you, I eat more? If you start lifting weights, you'll actually be able to take in more calories. Like if you start lifting weights, you'll become hungrier. Right. But I'm not, I'm not, this is you know you this is this is for next year once right, once right. there's not so much stuff on your plate, so yeah. to speak. Mm-hmm. No, I don't. I don't got time for all um, that shit. Yeah, complete honesty. Mashed potatoes, French fries, pasta, just copious amounts of it, and don't be don't be cheap with it either. Have fun with it, yeah. bro. I I love I love mashed potatoes. So fucking good. What's your favorite topping for them? Uh, I like. It sounds crazy, but I'll do mashed potatoes with. Uh, this is this doesn't sound crazy. I put butter in it, and then I'll do uh like chives, chives really? on top, and then uh pepper with some black pepper. It's pretty good. It's, it's really really good, bro. They sell instant mashed potato. When I was like super super duper poor, I used to buy instant mashed potatoes yeah. in the store, and those are so easy to make. You just pop them in water, and uh, they like it makes itself. It's great. It's good. It's just like KFC mash. Oh, bro, 100%. KFC mash. Dude, you want a really good suggestion for some potatoes, bro? Yeah. Instant roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Get yourself some Cajun seasoning. Yeah. You're going to cook it, put in some mozzarella cheese to help thicken it, uh. throw in one slice of Kraft single to make it a little more creamy, huh. and use milk instead of water. Huh. You oh, that sounds good. You will not regret it. Okay. You want a good sauce to go with it? Turkey gravy? Mixed in with a little Alfredo sauce. Do you guys know who mm. uh, Ronnie Coleman is? I do. Uh, nope. Okay, Ronnie Coleman. He's a bodybuilder. Ronnie Co- bodybuilder. Ronnie Coleman is like the 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 most awesome bodybuilder of all time, and uh, he his if you look up Ronnie Coleman diet, the shit that he used to eat is so he would take it's I'm thinking of this because you said Kraft singles. He would make himself grits, and he would have this like huge Tupperware container. I don't even know how big it is. It was fucking huge. And he'd make, like, grits, tons of grits, and then eggs, like, f- like six, seven eggs. And he'd throw it in this Tupperware container, and then he'd put Kraft singles, like, in everything, bro. And he would, he'd mix it. It looked like shit. It looks oh, so it nasty. You got to look up Ronnie Coleman. You'd like I him, actually. I, th- I probably would. It sounds like he's my type of guy. He's Just a cool dude. Just shitty cheese on it. You're happy. Have you, he has a... He has a... His, uh... His, uh... You know, you know about Yeah Buddy Chris? You know, look up, uh, look up Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, buddy. On, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, buddy. Right now. I'll do it. I'll show look it up right now. Oh well, my. I'll, I'll show you. I just want to show you guys this. Um, this is so fucking funny. So he, he would buy, he's a, he was a, like a world-class, uh, bodybuilder and there's so much footage of him lifting weights, but his signature, the reason everyone knows him is because of his, uh, yeah, buddy line. So check this out, right? All right, let's see this. God damn. Love, he looks I like love, my I kind of Ronnie workout Coleman. partner. I think I think Ronnie Coleman's fucking awesome. He's so cool, bro. But anyways, I'm not gonna be a bodybuilder. I just like. I wouldn't want to be a bodybuilder, but I'd love to have a gym bro that's that energetic about working out. Yeah. You know who just started going to the gym? This guy. Really? Yeah. Well, not just started. But yeah. Like you renewed your membership. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can find me over on YouTube at Airsoft Fatty, and uh, same over on Instagram. Just been keeping it chill, keeping it real, and we're going to keep putting content out there, so.
Make sure to check it out. Are there any oh, shout yeah. out? You got anyone you want to shout out or? You know what? Uh, there's a uh, Shadow Wolf Gaming. My buddy Robert. Uh, mm. We started reconnecting and talking again. Uh, turns out there's a lot of miscommunications that's happened over the years. So if you guys were wanna ever want to see any updates to that, check out the YouTube. And then, uh, oh, yeah. Good. 